Marcos Palter's Descarga takes the jam session as a point of departure. So the idea of this carga really is sort of this allusion to this genre, which is really not a genre really, it's more like a procedure that is very common in Latin percussion music, which is basically a percussion jam session. It's, it's all about improvisation, it's about virtuosity, it's about nuances within specific gestures, and I try to capitalize that. Uh, on Descarga. Marcos manipulates the setup in some specific but subtle ways, adding noise and preparations to the setup. The snare drum, the snares are on the whole time, which rattle along with other instruments in the setup. The, a chain is added to the sp suspended cymbal, making it a sizzle cymbal. And the vibraphone at times is played with special sticks with a root attached adding this very bright tick sound to each of the vibraphone articulations. So what you see a lot is an extensive use of specific instruments in very different, very contrasting timbre ways. Uh, sometimes you may have uh, an extended passage for a single drum, but you have a lot of more exato figures, so you get that variety of, of, of timbre, of color, or you may have vibraphones played with finger, uh, with fingertips or with special mallets that have different sounds. So the, the instruments never present themselves as they should, and that's kind of the beauty of it. Present in Descarga, as in a lot of Marcos's music, is the idea of false stasis. That you have this, this surface that seems to not change that much, but if you look inside of that, that surface, there, there is a bunch of things going on. There is a hyperactivity that seems veiled. Um, and uh, one needs to listen in a different way in order to actually get to the music. The music doesn't present itself to you. You have to kind of jump into where the activity is at, put your mind there, and then the music reveals itself to you. Percussion is very suited to this because our primary means of sustain is tremolo, which is precisely this idea. There are passages that sometimes, you know, go on seemingly exploring one single sound, but once you put your ear in the right angle, you see that there are 20, 30 different sounds there, and that becomes the game, quote unquote. Marcos totally ignored the pitches of the non-keyboard instruments. I really sort of uh, concentrated my energy on unpitched elements. So even when you have pitched instruments, the pitches are really not structural in the sense that they give you a full harmonic feel. Um, it's not to say that the harmony is completely loose, you know, there is a control there, but the idea really is about the different timbers not in a, in a hierarchical, pitch-related way. And he found the restriction of this pre-designed setup to be somewhat liberating. I think that it's uh, uh, much more organic for a composer to think of the piece once this, this instrumentation is set, then thinking of a concept and then trying to find material to make the concept happen. I think that that excessive freedom sometimes creates a lack of focus, that it's not necessarily the best thing when you are trying to convey a specific message. So in many ways, Sam's setup became the motor of the piece, and then the piece became something that went beyond the setup. A full video performance of Marcos Balter's Descarga can be found below.